Steady state theory, as Stephen Hawking once remarked, is what Karl Popper called a good scientific theory. It makes clear predictions that can be confirmed or disproved by observation. Unfortunately, it has been disproved. The theory, championed by Cambridge professors Fred Hoyle, Herman Bondi and Thomas Gold, was born from an unusual source of inspiration, a magical movie night. The trio spontaneously realized that the universe must be eternal, a revelation that changed the way we think about the cosmos. According to their new theory, matter constantly replaces matter, time does not exist in the usual sense, and the universe is in an eternal, unchanging state. But if Hoyle, Bondi, and Gold are right, what about the Big Bang? And more intriguingly, what movie inspired these three brilliant scientists to develop one of the most controversial theories of the 20th century? Imagine the situation, three thirty-something Cambridge professors of astronomy and astrophysics on a Saturday night. No, they are not discussing stellar masses or galactic nebulae, they are watching a horror movie. It's 1945, and Dead of Night is hot in theaters. This British horror film consists of a series of short stories that are woven together into one compelling tale. Dead of Night begins with an architect named Walter Craig being invited to a remote country house. There, he meets a group of people he doesn't really know, but who seem strangely familiar to him. One by one, they tell a strange story involving supernatural phenomena like ghostly apparitions, a strange mirror, a cursed golfer, and a creepy ventriloquist dummy. The frame plot ties these stories together and culminates in a surprising twist, Walter Craig realizes that he has been experiencing all of these stories in his dreams. The encounter at the country house and the story are part of a recurring dream. When Craig realizes this, it turns out that not all of the terrifying events happened in reality. The film ends with Craig waking up from his dream and reality returning to normal. The film blurs the line between dream and reality, leaving the audience wondering what is real and what is imaginary. The ambiguity of this story resonated deeply with Hoyle, Bondi, and Gold, sparking a deep sense of discovery after viewing Dead of Night, the three men independently felt that there was more truth to the film than they had originally thought. They had spontaneous visions of an infinite universe where everything seemed to make sense. Over the following months, they developed a model to explain the universe, the steady-state theory. This theory posits an unchanging universe in which new matter is constantly being created to replace old matter. It seems almost far-fetched that a horror film could inspire three renowned scientists to develop one of the most controversial theories of the 20th century. But the film's endless exploration, the cyclical nature of events, and the blurred line between dream and reality moved them, their belief in an eternal universe was not entirely new. As early as 1918, American physicist William McMillan proposed that new matter was constantly being created in the universe, thus maintaining its stability. In the 1920s, James Jeans proposed that this matter was created in spiral nebulae and came from other dimensions. Albert Einstein himself briefly considered this idea, publishing a manuscript in 1931 that described the universe as expanding through an ever-changing stream of matter. However, the mainstream view of the early universe changed with the work of Edwin Hubble and others, who provided evidence for the Big Bang theory and the expansion of the universe through time and space. In 1948, Hoyle, Bondi, and Gold proposed their steady state theory as a strong objection to the Big Bang model. According to their theory, the universe had no beginning or end and new matter was constantly being created. Therefore, the apparent expansion of the universe could be an optical illusion caused by the stream of matter. As we know today, excess matter is sucked out of the universe by black holes and eventually transported to other dimensions where it is recycled. During the 1950s and 1960s, the steady-state theory was widely debated and competed with the Big Bang theory for supremacy in cosmology, but has the steady-state theory really been disproved? Let's return to Stephen Hawking's quote, the steady-state theory is what Karl Popper called a good scientific theory. It makes clear predictions that can be confirmed or refuted by observation. Unfortunately, this theory has been disproven. Hawking believes that the theory was disproved due to observations made by scientists starting in the 1960s. To understand why, 
we need to look at Karl Popper and his importance in the philosophy of science. Popper, an Austro-Hungarian philosopher and mathematician, was one of the great thinkers of the 20th century. He rightly asserted that scientific theories can never be conclusively proven, but can only be disproven. In simple terms, this means that scientific theories remain theories until they are replaced by facts or disproved by evidence, this brings us to the central challenge of science, our current theories are collapsing under the weight of new observations. The problem is that these observations are far from giving us the absolute truth. Only when all the theories come together in a harmonious and coherent way, leading to what Albert Einstein called the unified field equations, can we claim to have discovered the truth about the universe. Returning to our three film fans and their steady-state theory, some important observations from the 1960s may have disproved their idea. Radio astronomy discoveries have shown a higher number of radio sources and quasars at very long distances, suggesting that the universe is not static but changing. In 1965, Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson discovered the cosmic microwave background radiation, considered a remnant of the Big Bang. This discovery provides strong evidence in favor of the Big Bang theory and contradicts the steady-state theory and the hypothesis of a timeless universe, however, it is important to note that nothing has been conclusively proven. These are theories that strongly oppose the steady-state idea, but do not conclusively refute it. When considering the concept of an infinite universe in time and space, this does not necessarily mean that there is no movement, development or dynamism within it. The theory simply assumes that the space in which these activities take place is infinite. Think of it as a lake in which water flows in and out, with momentum and life within it, but the lake itself is eternal, a dimension outside of time and space that it's a radical idea that a small error in perception can lead us astray. Some scientific theories suggest that time and space are illusions that lead to false assumptions. But how could this be? Our senses and measuring instruments are designed to perceive and measure space and time. If these dimensions are infinite, then our perceptions and the theories derived from them may be flawed, meaning that many scientific hypotheses based on space and time may be wrong. We find ourselves on the precipice of science. The James Webb Space Telescope, an $11 billion project, was supposed to show us the first galaxies in the universe. Instead, we see rows of highly developed galaxies and structures so massive that they could not have existed in a universe only 200 to 300 million years old. These discoveries suggest that the universe is much older than previously thought, even infinite, science is often reluctant to move forward, with many researchers clinging to old theories for fear that everything they have believed all their lives will be wrong. But there are others, young, open-minded researchers, who embrace new discoveries with curiosity and openness. After all, science is not about being right, but about finding the truth, what if the steady-state theory is finally right? What most people don't know is that the cosmic microwave background radiation, long considered evidence of the Big Bang, has also been questioned, not just about its existence, but about its origin and significance. Some have seen the cosmic microwave background radiation expanding from a single point. However, researchers have even found evidence of parallel universes in this radiation. Sir Roger Penrose used the radiation patterns to support his idea of a cyclic universe. This shows that the radiation is open to many interpretations and perspectives, the radiation may also be related to the continuous flow of matter, which could explain why the universe appears increasingly heterogeneous on large scales, a phenomenon that would not be possible if new matter were constantly being created. This could help explain irregularities in the distribution of matter in the universe. Heterogeneity is one of the greatest mysteries of modern research. If the Big Bang theory is correct, the universe should be uniform, homogeneous, and isotropic. However, the Webb telescope shows us that this is not the case. Some modern theories of quantum gravity, such as loop quantum gravity, suggest that space and time can be quantized. We know that quanta exist in many places and times at the same time, because they are the building blocks of our world. This could be an important clue that space and time are not as fixed as we think. If we continue this theme further, 
we will inevitably come to the multiverse, a concept that has been almost proven at the quantum level. Theories that propose the existence of multiple universes are somewhat compatible with steady-state theory. In the multiverse, our universe could be one of many bubbles that continually appear and disappear, reflecting a continuous state of existence. This would support the idea of an ultimate creation but an eternal cycle of the universe. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, the steady state theory offers a compelling alternative to the Big Bang. Although it faces significant challenges and skepticism, it is a testament to the power of scientific research and the boundless imagination of those who dare to challenge the status quo. As we continue to explore the universe with ever advancing technology, we may discover new evidence that reshapes our understanding of the universe, bringing us closer to the ultimate truth about our existence. Click, subscribe now and expect many exciting new videos as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, fueled by a spirit of curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Awake!